wasn't planning on buying this palette, but you convince me. You ask, I deliver. Well, not always, but this time I did think I was gonna enjoy this palette, so I did it anyway, I bought it anyway, and here we are. This is the Z Viola 10 Glam Shop Fall 2024 eyeshadow palette. This looks absolutely stunning. I really love the packaging. And actually what's inside also is looking very good. So let's get into it. All right, so the whole vibe of this palette is just really, really nice. I really love it. I just love fall vibes. I just love the coziness and the turning leaves and just those kinds of colors. But a lot of the time those color stories are very like warm, very autumnal in the shades. But this one is quite like on the cooler side. It's not like a full cool tone palette in any way, but we do have some cooler shades. This is definitely a color story that I can get on board with. We have some purples, we have some neutrals, we have a pop of kind of like very yellowy orange. And actually this palette swatched pretty nicely. There's a very interesting shade in here that I don't really know what to think of, which is Diamante. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I'm not gonna look up all these shades. I hope you can forgive me. But that one is like a very, very, very sheer matte, almost, with a lot of kind of like sparkle in it. It swatches really interestingly. I've never seen a shade like that because the sparkle is kind of packed, but it's not packed enough to be like what you usually have in a topper. It's just, it's very interesting. This is my second palette that I'm trying from the brand. The first palette was the Santorini eyeshadow palette that they came out with in the summer. And I do like the quality of the palette, but that palette is maybe not like completely my cause story, even though I recently wore it and did get a compliment on my eyeshadow or my makeup. We're gonna try this out and see how I feel about this formula with a color story that is really like up my alley. Like this is my thing. All right, let's zoom in. All right, so I often try to match my clothing to the look I'm gonna do, but now I might be a little bit too like on the nose on point. I mean, these purples are matching almost perfectly <laughs> to my sweater. Um, I don't know what I wanna do. I'm gonna do one look. We're just gonna like try and put a lot of different shades on my eyes. I just wanna have like a pretty look on today. It's just what I'm feeling. I think I wanna start out with this kind of taupey shade here. I really wanna see how that shows up in my crease. That one is called Klochny, I think. Klochny? Let's do it, Klochny. This one picks up a lot. It's very powdery in the pan. It is a type of shade that I do like to wear when I do a more like soft neutral look, which is a lot actually, especially off camera. I do a lot of softer kind of like, not barely there because I do like my eyeshadow, but kind of like more subtle looks. Okay, this is quite a nice matte. I do like the matte formula from Glam Shop. It is quite a nice, easy to work with matte. I think if you're much deeper than I am, like it's not gonna show up much on you. It's kind of like a softer, more subtle shade, but it's a good transition, I think. Now, I just, I have to go into the purple. I really want to try the purple. I'm gonna go in my toy cap and I'm gonna take a more precise brush and I'm gonna deepen up the outer corner with that. I'm really curious. Like, I have applied a neutral First, so it might be a little less bright because of that, but we're gonna see how this works out. I do think like the tones and the undertones of these purples are really beautiful and are really more cool tone than we often see. And I do like it. I do like a cool tone purple, but in a way they're also a little muted. Like they're fresh, but they are wearable. I don't know how to explain it. It's like they are not as harsh, I think. But they're also not very. That is looking nice. I think that is a very nice combination. That neutral is just making it look a little bit more soft towards the inner part. And now I'm going in with that first brush and I'm just gonna blend over the edges. To make it look a little bit more seamless. And just a little bit more like one blended situation. I am gonna take the more satin looking shimmer 
Troche Pelagi. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. And I hope it's not gonna be too shimmery. But I think that is looking quite nice. I do like a satin on my lower lash line. Okay, that is a nice shimmer. I just, I really like the tones of these purples. I don't feel like I have a lot of purples in my collection that are like this. I do think I want to keep to the purple theme because I really want to try this shade, the Z of Time shade. So that's like the name of the palette. I think that's going to be like the star of this show. It's swatched really nicely and I think that looks really promising, really beautiful. So I'm just gonna apply... Oh, that is stunning. Okay, that is really like an attention-grabbing, beautiful, like out there shimmer. This is the kind of shimmer that I want from an indie brand. I feel like with the Santorini palette, I didn't feel about a shimmer as strongly as I do with this one. Like, it wasn't... Like, it's a nice palette. It's good quality but sometimes a shimmer just really is so breathtakingly amazing and this is beautiful that's really nice and also if you didn't know like glam shop is a pretty affordable brand this is like 35 euros i did only buy the palette so it was also like 10 euro shipping so it ended up being 45 but i still think that's a pretty good price for like what you're getting, you're getting a 15 pan palette with cute packaging and there's no like taxes if you're in the EU. I do feel like I'm in need of a little bit more smokiness now that I have that shimmer on. I think I'm gonna go into this shade called 70% that I can pronounce and I'm just gonna take that precise brush and I'm just gonna deepen this up a little over here. Like This is a type of shade if you combine it with purples it's gonna pull like purple enough because it's like this really cool tone brown. Yeah, this is giving me what I want. Sometimes you just need that depth and dimension. That is beautiful. That is just stunning. It's working really well. It's blending together really well. I think it's great that those neutrals can go with a more purple look. And I'm gonna take the residual color and just run that on my lower lash line. Just a little. All right, this is what I like to see. I am really drawn to this shade as well. That was really shifty from a pink to kind of like a yellow. It looks really nice, but I kind of want to try another type of shimmer as well. Uh, I'm getting back to that shimmer for sure. Like that was a very exciting looking shade. I think... I might go with Zlatte, Zlatte, Latte. That sounds cute. And this one is a more smooth shimmer. It doesn't have the texture. It is a little bit more on the satiny side and it's gonna pull it a little bit more towards the neutral again. That is really pretty. Okay, I think I'm happy I gave Glam Shop another chance because it wasn't that the other palette was bad at all and I'm still testing it actually but it's just not a palette that I reach for a lot and that's why it's taking me some time to test it but it's really just the color story of this is something I can see myself going back into a lot especially if i didn't have this many eyeshadow palettes because i do review a lot of eyeshadow palettes i would really see myself using this a bunch i really want to try this kind of like iridescent shade this one is called zimne sriatlo maybe it is maybe it isn't i am gonna grab a pencil brush and this one is smooth but did have a like dual chrome to it so we're gonna see like it's a really interesting because some really satiny shades do have quite a dual chrome that do make them look kind of like more brightening than they would have been if you didn't have like the dual chrome and just looking at the formula if you get what I mean. I don't even know if I got what I meant. It's just, it's more the duochrome than the actual shine of this formula that it brightens up a look. It is cute. Okay, I think I have to try this shimmer, the Diamante shimmer. I just have to try it. And I think, 
how, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to grab a bit of that on a pencil brush because it does look super, super shimmery and I'm going to try and place that. Yeah, that is super shimmery. Like it looks really strange swatched, but when you tap it over something, you do really get kind of like this shimmer topper situation. Like it's a cute addition to the look. You have to be a bit careful. I feel like if you take a lot, this is gonna go everywhere. But I don't know. It is kind of like festive. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a little bit with my finger and just apply that. It does add a shimmer. I just don't really like understand the base color because you don't really see it. And you think in the pen that it is gonna be kind of like a pinky color, but it is not. It's very interesting. I truly have never used something like this, but it kind of looks like twinkly lights or twinkly stars. It's really like a twinkle on your eye. It's not even like chunky. It's just really like these really small shimmery particles. I'm actually really loving where this look is going. It's just missing a shadow liner. And for the shadow liner, I think I'm gonna go into the shade 70% again. It's just a shade that matches so well with the vibe I'm going for. I'm kind of regretting not doing two looks with this, but if you want me to, I can do another short with this. But... I'm convinced. I'm convinced of this brand. Lately, I've been trying so many good eyeshadows and sometimes I just get so excited and I'm kind of like wondering, like, am I getting too excited too fast? Should I be a little bit more like critical of what I'm trying? But it's just really how I've been feeling. And I guess that's a good thing. I've just been trying good makeup with which I have been able to do looks that I really enjoy. Like, I'm happy that I am buying things that I actually really, really like. It's not always easy. Like, when I try something and it really isn't my thing and it ends up being a pretty critical review, like, that does bum me out. I get really excited about good makeup. It's just how I am. I don't like making negative videos, even though it might get more views. I did buy this purple liner by... LA Girl, this is a Shock Wave in Neon Eyeliner and this is in shade, what is this shade? It's a purple shade. But I haven't tried it yet, but I wanna try it out with this look because I feel like it's really gonna fit. So I'm hoping this is gonna work. I hope it's gonna be creamy. Okay, I do have to go over it a bit, but can build it up and it's getting purple. <laughs> okay, maybe this is not too bad, but it's not as like, quick and creamy as the Nabla Cupid's Arrow. But I do really like the color of this. I think I would use it more often. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will be back with some thoughts. This is the finished look and I am very happy with how this came out. I just think the eyeshadow is so cute. Everything worked well, everything blended well and I just love the tones of purple that we have in this palette. It is a tone of purple that you just don't see a lot where it's wearable still in a way like i feel like this is a pretty wearable type of purple but it is cool toned and i think that is just so nice to see i think i have been convinced of the quality of glam shop i just needed to see it in the right colors also just the packaging and the vibe of this eyeshadow palette is just immaculate i think the packaging is really beautiful it feels really nice i do really like the color story for me maybe one of these neutral mattes could have been taken out and been replaced by like a pastel really light lilac or really light pink but that is just a preference I think that like this really warm, really like yellowy peach for me is not really necessary, but I'm going to play with it. I'm going to see how it combines with the other colors. Maybe it's really fun and it inspires me. I think this is a nice palette and I can't wait to play with it more, to try it out more. Even the shade that I thought was a little like interesting that made me feel a little like 
Mm, is that gonna work? I think added something really cute to the look. I like it. It's a good price, good packaging, a nice color story, and so far I really like the quality. Of course, this is a first impression. I'm gonna use it more and update you in my new makeup updates. But so far, so good. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.